Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Discrete Mathematical Structure. In the previous session, I have discussed the basic connectors and truth tables. In today's session, we will discuss the problems on basic connectors and the truth tables. Okay. The first problem is, let C indicate a circle is a conic. Q indicates root 5 is a real number. And R indicates exponential series is convergent. Express the following compound propositions in words. First one, C and negation Q. Second one, negation P or Q. Third one, C exclusive or Q. Q condition negation P. Fifth one, P conditional Q exclusive or R. Sixth one, negation P by conditional Q. Now problem here is, we need to write all these compound proposition in terms of words. Next, we will see the solution for this. First, I will solve the first one. P and negation Q. We can write it as, first we need to write P. What is P? The circle is a cone. The circle is a cone. Okay, next, after P, we have the connectives and and we have negation q. So negation q, q indicates root 5 is the real number. In negation, we need to use the word not. We can write it as negation q as root 5 is not a real number. Okay, second one. Negation P or Q. So in this one we have negation P. So we need to find out the negation of proposition P. So P indicates a circle is a conic. Negation P can write it as a circle is not a conic. Next, after negation P, we have connectives R. R. Next, Q. What is Q? Root 5 is a real number. Okay. Next, the third one. P exclusive or Q. Now, what is P indicate? A circle is a conic and Q indicates root 5 is a real number. Now here we have used the connectives exclusive disjunction. In exclusive disjunction we need to use the word either P or Q but not both. So before P we need to use the word either. Either P. What is P indicate? A circle is a conic. Either a circle is a conic. Next. After P, we need to use the word OR. After OR, we need to write Q. Q indicates root 5 is the real number. At the end, after Q, we need to write this statement, but not both. Okay. Next, fourth one, Q conditional negation P. So, here we have used the connection conditional. In conditional, we need to use the word if and then. If P, then Q. Now, here first we need to use the word if. Here, first one we have Q. What is Q indicate? Root 5 is a real number. Then after writing Q, we need to write the word then. Then after that, we have negation P. What is negation P? P indicate a circle is a conic. Negation P we can write it as a circle is not a conic. Okay. Next, fifth one. P conditional Q 
exclusive or are. Okay, again we have conditional. You need to use the word if and then. Okay, first I'll write if we have P. So what does P indicate? A circle is a cone. After writing P, you need to use the word then. Then. So here we have Q exclusive or R. So here in exclusive or, we need to use the word either. After then, we need to write the word either. Q. Q indicates root 5 is a real number. After writing Q, we need to use the word R. Then R. What R indicates? Exponential series is convergent. At the end, we need to write but not both. Okay, last one. Sixth one, negation P by conditional Q. We can write it as, here we have by conditional. We have to take negation P is a combination of both. Negation P, conditional Q and Q, conditional, negation P. Now we can write it as, first we need to take conditional between negation P and q so what is negation p a circle is a conic you can write it as negation p as a circle is not a conic so first we need to use the word e if. if a circle is not a conic then q what is q root 5 is a real number And so we need to use the word and and again we have conditional q conditional p. First we need to write q. So if q indicates root 5 is a real number. Then what is negation p? The circle is not a conic. We'll see the next problem. Construct the truth tables for the following compound proposition. P and negation Q, negation P or Q, P conditional Q, negation P exclusive or negation Q. Q. So here we have only two propositions, P and Q is given. Suppose if there is a N proposition, the given compound proposition then we will get to the power n rows in the truth table okay now here we have only two propositions p and q we will get to the power 2 that is 4 4 rows we will get okay first when you take p q then after that you need to find out negation p and negation q then you can directly find out the truth values of all these compound propositions so let's draw the truth table for this statement. So first I have written PQ, then negation P and negation Q. It is required to find out the truth values of all these statements. Okay. Next, I am finding truth values of first one. Next, I am finding truth values of second one. Here we are finding the truth values of third one. Last, I am finding the truth values of last one. Okay. So first I will write the truth values. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. What is negation P? So negation P we can write it as. So here P is 0, negation P is 1. P is 0, negation P is 1. Here P is 1, negation P will be 0. So 
then p is 1 negation p is 0 negation q next you need to find the negation q okay when q is 0 negation q is 1 when q is 1 negation q is 0 when q is 0 negation q is 1 when q is 1 negation q is 0 okay Next, we need to find out P and negation Q. We need to take P and negation Q. We need to take and between these two. In and, if both the state, if both the propositions are true, then only it is true. Otherwise, it is 0. Now, here P is 0, negation Q is 1. So, one statement is, one proposition is false here. So, it is 0. Next one. Here P is 0, negation Q is 0. Both are 0. It is 0. Here, next one, P is 1, negation Q is 1, both are 1, so then it is 1. Next, last, P is 1 and negation Q is 0, so negation Q is 0, you will get 0. Next, we need to find a negation P or Q, we need to consider negation P, Q. Okay, we need to take or between these two statements, so in or statement, if both the statements are, both the propositions are false, then it is false. Otherwise, it is true. Okay. Now, here, negation P is 1, Q is 0. Okay. Negation P is 1, so we will get 1. Next, negation P, P is 1 and Q is 1. So, both are 1, we get 1. Okay. Next, here, both are 0. So, it is 0. Next, negation P is 0 and Q is 1. So, Q is 1 here, so we will get 1. Next, P conditional negation Q. We need to take conditional between P and negation Q. So, in conditional, we need to remember, first we need to consider the value of P, then we need to consider the value of negation Q. So, first, what is P indicates 0 and negation Q indicates 1. 0, 1. When it is 0, 1, in condition it is 1. When it is 0, 0, it is 1. Next, when P is 1 and negation Q is 1, it is 1. When P is 1, negation Q is 0. So, 1, 0, negation Q is, P condition negation Q is 0. Okay. Next, we need to find out, exclude the or between negation P or negation Q. Okay. Now, we will find out the exclude the or between these two statements. So, this statement is true only when either P is true or Q is true. Now, here uh, both the statements negation P and negation Q both are true, so it is 0. When both are same, it is 0. When both are different, it is 1. So, here negation P is 1, negation Q is 0. So, we will get 1. Now, here negation P is 0, negation Q is 1. So, both are different, we will get 1. Now, here negation P is 0 negation q is 0. So, both are 0, we get 0. So, these are the truth values of the given compound proposition. Okay, next we will see the next problem. Like P and Q be primitive statement for which P conditional Q is false, determine the truth values of the following compound proposition. Okay, first one P and Q, negation P or Q, Q conditional P, negation Q by condition negation P. We need to find the truth values of all these compound proposition. Now here, the conditional P conditional Q is false, is given. So we know that P conditional Q is false only when P is true q is false okay now we got the value of truth value of p and q so now here p is true and q is false next what is required here negation p and negation q is also required to find out the truth values of the given compound proposition what is negation p then we know that p is true negation p is false okay next we know that Q is false. What is negation Q? Negation Q is true. 
Now we can find out the truth values of each and everything. What is P and Q? The truth value of truth value of P and Q is what is P? P is true and Q is false. When it is true, false in and. If one of the statement is false, then it is false. Second, the truth value of negation P or Q is the so negation P is false and Q is also false. Both are false. In or in both are false, then it is false. Third one. Truth value of Q conditional P is what is Q value? Q is false and P is true. When it is false true, then it is true. Next fourth one. Negation the truth value of negation Q by conditional negation P is what is negation Q is true and negation P is false when it is true false then it is false okay. next the fourth problem find the possible truth values of P Q R in the following cases first one P conditional Q R is false P and Q condition R is Okay, I will find the solution. First one, P conditional Q or R is false. Is given. Okay, is false only when. Now here there is a conditional between P and Q or R. So conditional is false only when P is true and Q or R is false. When P is true, Q or R is false. Okay. Now, we got the value of truth value of P. P is true. Next, we need to find out the truth value of Q and R. Q or R is false only when both Q and R are false. Okay. Now we got the truth value. The truth value of the truth values of P Q R is R R. P is true, 1 I can write, Q or R, both are false, 1, 0, 0, respectively. Okay, first one is over, we will see the next problem, second one. P and Q conditional R is true, is given. This statement is true only when, only when, now here there is an AND between P and Q conditional R. So in AND, if both the statements are true, then only it is true. Okay, it's true only when P is true, Q conditional R is true. Okay, now we got the value of Next, you need to find out Q and R. Q conditional R is true only when there are three cases. Okay, if I take Q R, okay, Q R, Q and R is true. Q conditional R is true only when when both Q and R is false. When Q is zero. And R is 1 when both are true. 
okay there are three cases for true condition okay now what is the truth value of pqr in this case truth value of pqr in this case we will write the truth table you get these three cases so p value is true here i can write 1 1 1 what about q and r value so first one it is 0 0 next one it is 0 1 next one it is 1 1 so this is the truth values of pqr for the second problem next we will discuss the what is topology a compound proposition which is true for all possible truth values of a component is called as a tautology. Next contradiction. A compound proposition which is false for all possible truth values of its component is called as a contradiction. Next contingency. A compound proposition that can be true or false depending upon the truth values of its component. It can be either true or false. Okay, next we'll solve problems on this topic. Contingency, neither a tautology nor a contradiction. Okay, we'll see the problems on tautology and contradiction. Show that for any propositions P and Q, the compound proposition P conditional P or Q is tautology. And the compound proposition P and negation P and Q is a contradiction. Okay, so we can prove this one by using truth table. We need to construct this truth table. So here only two propositions is given P, Q, R, P and Q. So we will get four rules. Okay, first I am taking P and Q. Next we need to find out P or Q. Next, we can after finding P or Q, you can directly find out P conditional P or Q. Next, for this statement, we require negation P. First, we we'll find out negation P. Next, we we'll find out negation P and Q. After that, you can find out P and negation P and Q. Okay. First, I'll write the truth value for P, Q, P and Q. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. What is P or Q? P or Q is false only when both are false. In all the other cases, it is 1. Okay. Next, we need to take the P conditional P or Q. We need to take condition in P and P or Q. Okay. Here P is 0, P or Q is 0. So both are 0. In condition, it is 1. Okay. Next, P is 0, P or Q is 1. So it is 1. P is 1, P or Q is 1. Both are 1. It is 1. P is 1 and P or Q is 1. So, both are 1, it is 1. So, in conditional, it is false only when P is true, Q is false. Okay. Now, we got the truth values of compound proposition P conditional P or Q. It is true for all the values. It is true for all the truth values of P and Q. So, it is a total. Okay. Next, we need to prove that P and negation P and Q is a contradiction. Okay, first we we'll find out negation P. What is negation P? So we know that P is 0. When P is 0, negation P is 1. Okay, what is the negation P in then? 1. Next, when P is 0, negation P is 0. Okay, when P is 1, negation P is 0. What is negation P and Q? Negation P. Negation P and Q. We have to take and between negation P and Q. So when it is 0, 1, it is 0. When it is 1, 1, it is 1. When it is both are 0, it is 0. When, when 0, 1, it is 0. Okay. Next, what about P and negation P and Q? Because P indicates P is 0 here. Negation P and Q is 0. So, both are 0, it is 0. If one of the input is 0, then it is 0. Okay. Here, P is 0. 
magician PNG is 1. So it is 0. Okay, next. P is 1. Negation P and Q is 0. So you can write it as 0. Next. When it is 1, 0, it is 0. So you got the truth values of P and negation P and Q is 0 is false for all the values. So it is a contradiction. So at the end you can write it as from the above table, we observe that for all possible truth values of P and Q, the compound proposition P conditional P or Q is true and neg P and negation P and Q is false. Therefore, P conditional P or Q is tautology and P and negation P and Q is a contradiction. Thank you. Happy learning.